Greetings friends around the world, you're listening to the Bible News Prophecy Program and my name is Alexander Sasha Velis, I'm your host, welcome. Well, we keep seeing the rise of Germany in Europe and Germany recently said that the European Union decisions should not be blocked by individual countries. Uh, German Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock said on Wednesday that the European Union could no longer afford to have decisions blocked by individual member states. She said qualified majority voting can lead to fairer results for all of us. And she said it to a conference in Portugal's capital, Lisbon, we must be capable of acting efficiently and swiftly. Well... What is coming is German-controlled Europe. Dear friends, the idea of a German-dominated Europe is taking shape. Uh, a columnist, Peter Fecher writes in daily Mojor Hirlop. It is one of the Hungarian uh, uh, newspapers. The essence of a federal Europe was perhaps articulated most strongly by Jaroslav Kaczynski, the leader of the Polish ruling parties, as this article. And he quotes Kaczynski, Germany is working to transform the European Union into a federal German Fourth Empire. If we Poles agreed to such a modern-day surrender, we would actually be degraded, he declared. Let us add that this applies not only to the Poles, but also to all other European nations, including us Hungarians, says the article. And then uh, Fecher continues, it's a utopian and dangerous idea, an attempt that will not hold the European Union together, but will shatter it. However, more and more sober voices can be heard in the background of a creation of a German-dominated Europe. The new German government must now face the fact that after the change of regime, Central Europe, which has its own sphere of interest, has achieved a position of economic interdependence to some degree with Germany. At least a third of the supply capacity of German industry is already in this region, a significant part of which is in Poland, which is the biggest part of the region, and a significant proportion is with us, Hungary. And uh, what can we say about all of this, friends? Well, well, Europe is already dominated by Germany. Germany is the economic motor of Europe, and more and more are seeing that Germany has control of many aspects of the European Union. Now, is this consistent with the Bible prophecy? Yes, yes indeed. Not only is it consistent, but you can expect that more control is coming as Germany changes. We, on the Bible's prophecy, we expect a reorganization in Germany, as well as elsewhere in Europe, that will result in a beast power, prophesied in Revelation 13, actually worse than Adolf Hitler. We put together a video several years ago about what will happen once Europe unites Europe Unites Under the Beast. And the title of that video you can find uh, on our YouTube channel. It's called the European Union Unity to be like Hitler? Question mark. Because we use Boris Johnson, the former mayor of London, who stated that the European Union wanted to be what Adolf Hitler and Napoleon Bonaparte tried to create. Yes, indeed, Duncan Smith agreed. But the European Council President Donald Tusk at that time called Johnson's comments absurd and then stated that the European Union was the answer to the problems facing Europe. <laughs> but friends, the question is, what does the Bible teach about the future of Europe? Is European Union the answer to or will it usher in something worse than Adolf Hitler? And you'll find the answer is that uh, a video entitled European Union to be like Hitler. It's about 17 minutes long. To most at this time, Europe currently looks divided and unequal in various ways. But friends, Daniel chapter 2, Daniel chapter 2, and keep in mind the Bible never lies. The Bible never tells us lie. God is not a man to lie. So however, however weak European Union might be looking at this time, however divided, nevertheless the Bible prophesies Daniel 2 verse 41. Whereas you saw the feet and toes, partly of potter's clay and partly of iron, the kingdom shall be divided. Yet the strength of the iron shall be in it, just as you saw the iron mixed with ceramic clay. And as the toes of the feet were partly of iron and partly of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly fragile. As you saw iron mixed with ceramic clay, they will mingle with the seed of men, but they will not adhere to one another just as iron does not mix with the clay. So the Bible is showing that there will be unity problems within Europe. And we see that right now. It will take a strong leader to make Europe's coming Temporary unity is stronger, but that is prophesied in Revelation 17, 13. We call him the first beast, the beast power. 
in the past, in the last century, the radio, Radio Church of God, published the, uh, in 1976, uh, published an article saying, watch the emergence of a strong man in West Germany. And I'm going to read excerpts from this article because friends is going to explain to you exactly what we here in the Bible News Prophecy have been expecting to happen. The attempt to unify Europe as one economic, military and political power bloc restoring the Holy Roman Empire has been the one aim of all the great men who dominated European history from Napoleon's Waterloo until now. Mussolini, dominating Eritrea, Italian Somaliland, Libya and conquering Ethiopia did officially name his weak empire the Roman Empire, but now the dream of a mighty powerful resurrected Roman Empire at last is becoming a hard driving reality. Nations of United Europe have succeeded in their aim far beyond the wildest dreams of the original signers of the Treaty of Rome. In far less time, at a far greater pace, this was, this was written back in 1969, mind you, at a far greater pace than anticipated these nations of Europe have risen from the economic chaos of World War II to the dizzying heights of a standard of living never known to them before. With the present success, well beyond the proportions of that expected three years ago, with a future success in a world of peace sure to produce a near utopia, Western Europe is more concerned about war than any other economic and political entity on the face of the earth. This is very probably the last year in which anyone except Europe will be able to negotiate with the Soviet Union for Europe. This was written in London Sunday Times at that time. These nations are enjoying their economic recovery and they will let nothing stand in its way. They will stop at nothing to keep what they have and go on to more. So it is that a blueprint has been drawn up by the six that demands meeting among themselves to decide the military and foreign policy questions that come up regarding Europe. Written in 1969, friends. But listen now. Listen now. Fascism in Europe is about to be reborn. Written back in 1969 by the Radio Church of God. Fascism in Europe is about to be reborn in respectable business attire. Mark all of this. And the Treaty of Rome will finally be implemented to its fullest extent. The dream of a Holy Roman Empire returning to power to dominate and direct the so-called forces of Christian mankind of the Western world is not dead, but still stalks through the anti-chambers of every national capital of continental Western Europe. In the, the determination of the leaders in the common market nations to restore the Holy Roman Empire with all that it means... United within the ancient boundaries of the Holy Roman Empire, united by the common spiritual bond of universal Catholicism, united in a burgeoning and booming industrial economy that dominates today's world, united geographically in the most productive and industrial complex of all the earth, at least ten nations of modern Europe will march into the scene of world history as the greatest single human force ever to be seen by man. And in fact, this was even published earlier than 1969. It was uh, published by John Hill uh, in an article, What is Germany's Destiny? in Plain Truth, March 1969. You need to hear some more, friends, because it says the prophecy of Daniel 11. We can say and tell you details, events at that time, still future, from the remaining days of the Medo-Persian Empire through the reign of Alexander the Great and his successors in Syria and Egypt, and all through to the second coming of Christ. Be beginning in verse 40, we read of a conflict between the two great powers. At that time of the, sh and of the end shall the king of the south push at him, and the king of the north shall call shall come against him like a whirlwind. Now this is important end time prophecy, dear friends. And it was also written in the same plain truth in December 1979 by Keith Stump. The title is The Arab World in Prophecy. This is an important end time prophecy following the chronological progression of the chapter. It becomes apparent that the phrase King of the North had at first referred to Syria under the Seleucid dynasty and later in the New Testament times to the Emperor of the Roman Empire. Thus, in its final end time application, the King of the North is the prophesied strong man who will lead a coming union of European nations, the seventh and final revival of the ancient Roman Empire prophesied by Daniel and in the book of Revelation. See Revelation 17, verse 12 and 13. 
the king of the north of Daniel 11, the leader of the German-led European Union, will ultimately turn against the Arab king of the south with disastrous consequences for the entire Middle East, both Jew and Arab alike. The entire region will be subjected to, uh, to armed invasion. That's prophesied, that's to be expected, friends, in our time. And the Bible, you may wonder, well, the Bible clearly shows that a reorganization will come to Europe and power will be given to a dictator, Revelation 17, verse 12, that ten horns which you saw are ten kings who have received no kingdom as yet, but they receive authority for one hour as kings with the beast. These are of one mind, that they will give their power and authority to the beast. The Bible shows that the European lead, beast leader, also called the king of the north, will arise promising peace. Because in Daniel 11.21 you read, And in his place shall arise a vile person to whom they'll give the honor of royalty, that he shall come in peaceably and seize the kingdom by intrigue. With the force of a flood they shall be swept away from before him and be broken, and also the prince of the covenant. And after the league is made with him, he shall act deceitfully, or he shall come up and become strong with a small number of people. Daniel chapter 8 verse 25 And through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand and he shall magnify himself in his heart and by peace shall destroy many he shall also stand up against the prince of princes but he shall be broken without hand Of course the prince of princes refers to the coming uh, of Jesus Christ the Messiah now, the territorial extent of the Roman Empire was huge, brethren and friends. Notice that uh, if you take some uh, maps and, and take a look at the maps, you will see that it controls all the land around the Mediterranean Sea. Now, that is the Great Sea of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 2, where a vision of various beasts is shown. The Bible shows that this European, uh, from Daniel 9, 26, this European beast will again dominate the territories around the Mediterranean Sea. As you can see also in Daniel 11, chapter 11, verse 40 through 43. Now prior to Daniel 11, 39 through 43, the Bible shows that Europe will one day reorganize and support a dictatorial strongman. The Bible calls him the beast of the sea, Revelation 13 and first 10 verses. And the Bible also calls him in Daniel 11, 40, the king of the north. Now, uh, some of those people, some of the commentators in the last century, they uh, claim that the dictatorial leader will be German. Well, that is consistent with biblical prophecy in places like Isaiah chapter five, 10, verse 5 through 12. Furthermore, people are starting to notice that Europe is already being dominated by Germany. And yes, those of us who live in Europe can certainly attest to that. Now please consider something that was published in 1980. It was again published by the old Worldwide Church of God in the last century. It says, Finally feeling the chilling embrace of Moscow, the German people may yet call for the Bavarian strongman, the one they feared in good times, to rescue them from their impending doom. A Bavarian strongman would be someone from Bavaria in Germany. The one that this author, Gene Hochberg, had in mind back in those 1980 was Franz Josef Strauss. That person died. Yet, let us add that there is another Bavarian who we need to keep our eyes on and who may one day rise up. His name is Karl Theodor zu Gutenberg. Related to Baron Gutenberg, we put together, there's a video called on the Bible News Prophecy YouTube channel. It was, it's like 15 minutes long. It says, and the title is The Middle East Prophecy and Karl Theodor zu Gutenberg. And uh, what we need to convey to you, friends, is that uh, this one, the one that we just mentioned, will be most likely when a regional Middle Eastern war, nuclear war breaks out, will be sent by Europe to mediate for peace. Karl Theodor zu Gutenberg, because Iran and Israel have been involved with various attacks and threats against each other, and the Bible does prophesy conflict between these countries because God will not always protect Israel and the great damage prophesied is to come to Jerusalem in the Bible there is a great damage also to Syria's capital Damascus and Isaiah was inspired to write those things and that a peace deal should come after a regional conflict in the Middle East could this Baron Karl Theodor Maria Nicholas Johann Jacob Philip Franz Josef Sylvester 
Freiherr von Und zu Gutenberg be the prince of Daniel 9, 26-27, who becomes the king of the north of Daniel? Yes, indeed. Was he spurned, rejected, and passed for overall advancement, consistent with one rendering of Daniel 11, 21? Yes, he did. Does KT have the ancestral and religious background to be the great monarch of Greco-Roman Catholic prophecies? Yes, he does. Does Carl Tilda to Gutenberg have the digital background to be able to be involved in the 666 controlling of buying and selling in Revelation 13, 16 through 18? Yes, he does. Should you be watching the Middle East and Carl Tilda to Gutenberg? Oh, yes, you should. And we firmly uh, encourage you to watch and to watch things unravel before your own eyes, just as the Bible has prophesied. Thank you for your attention. Until next time, goodbye, friends.